Hello and welcome to the DIY Affiliates World. My name is Rochelle and the brand that I created is called the DIY Affiliate on YouTube. I can also be found on TikTok under the secret YouTuber. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use the styles menu and also how to create a table of contents. So stick around, I give you just the facts. Let's jump into the video. This is a brief overview of styles. Your styles are located under the home tab, under styles. Each time you place your cursor in front of a character, you can change the style. You can create a new style, clear all your formatting, or apply styles. As an example, apply styles, which will then open a box on the left-hand side in which you can use the downward menu, the downward arrow, and choose. Put your cursor where you would like to apply the style and choose the style that you would like and it will automatically change it. You can move this box, resize it, or close it. You can scroll down to four rows of your already built-in styles, or you can open the styles palette. Each time you place your cursor where you would like the style to be applied and mouse over the style that you want, you can also use the box with the downward arrow which will give you a styles box. It will tell you If you click into the options, you can select styles to show recommended, in use, current document, or all styles. You choose all styles, it will show all of the different styles that are built in. Styles that you aren't working with, so you would choose the styles that are in use. Select how the list is sorted and you can choose by font based on by type. You can also select formatting to show as styles in your paragraph level, formatting font, formatting bullet number, formatting. And this is for all new documents. So now it will show me all different styles in my document. As an example, I'm just going to go to the chapter one. You can choose your style. For your heading, Your style for your subtitles and also your style for your paragraphs. Those are the three main styles that you want to use with your Kindle Create. Here is an example. This is your chapter title. And this is your subtitle and your first paragraph. All with the indents to create a paragraph. 
Here is an example of a paragraph. This is an indented. Just go highlight a pop-up box comes up and you can choose the style. There are a couple of ways you can look at a paragraph. You can use the pop-up box when you highlight or you can use this editing box on the top ribbon called paragraph in order to structure your paragraph simply by highlighting and choosing the icon that you would like for your paragraphs. Anytime you want to take something away, just click into it. And this is how easy the editing is for your paragraphs. You can also change the theme colors. This is all things you can do for your manuscript, but it's not going to matter for your Kindle Create. Your Kindle Create book that you are creating. So I am just going to use the three main styles. If you make a mistake, Remember where the undo arrow is. Undo everything to where, to where your corrections start. When you click into this icon, it will show you all of your paragraphs. Now to create a style paragraph, here is an example that I created. This is a Kindle paragraph I created and you can just go into create a style give your style a name so we're going to call it new paragraph choose modify so the name is new paragraph and the style type is linked paragraph and character that's what it is if you choose it, when you look down at format you will see your choices so you want to make sure you choose paragraph a pop-up box will come up and you will also see a preview screen. Here you can preview as an example. The left, you can see it's from the left is zero pixels. Then your first line, because this is special, it is going to be 10. You can also see it moving in to make it 15 or 20. And 20 would be almost the equivalent of what you would have as an indent of 5 in the Kindle Create. And your spacing. If you are using the first line and an indent, your spacing will be 0. And your line spacing is single. And don't add space between the paragraphs of the same style. So this is what your paragraph will look like. And then you just click OK. Choose automatically update and new documents based on this template and choose OK. So now when you use your cursor, and you highlight your paragraph, you can now choose it as your new paragraph. To create a paragraph with no indent, Here is an example. I am just going to go into the Kindle paragraph I created and use modify. And here you can see 
I did say the Kindle paragraph, list paragraph, or Kindle paragraph. It tells me the font is 12. It also tells me that the left is 10 pixels indented, and we don't want that. So we want to check the format, paragraph, pop-up box, and make sure that we don't have anything indented. So now we have zero pixels and single, and it says don't add space between the paragraphs of the same style. This one, we don't click this because we want to add space between this style. Also, you will find your window orphan control and also keep the next lines together, page break before suppress uh, line numbers, don't hyphenate, and you can choose any one of these and then click on OK. Add to stop. Or I'm going to put a capital on this just as an example. And then new document based on the template and OK. So now I'm going to use my Microsoft Dictate. I am starting a new paragraph, but the paragraph that I started has an indent, but I don't want an indent, so what do I do? I highlight, I find where I did the new paragraph with no indent, I am still dictating. I am now writing a new paragraph without the indent. This is an example of using the Microsoft indent, especially when you are creating your manuscript and using the Microsoft Dictate. So here is the example of the Kindle and the paragraphs. Here you can see the indent. Go into the next indent in, in this indent. So I'm just going to show you as an example here. I'm just going to copy this information and convert it to the Kindle information. Right click and copy and then over to the Kindle Create. In order for you to have the right spacing the first time, when you are creating your Kindle ebook, you want to highlight your paragraph. This is the easiest way that I found is to highlight your paragraph and make sure it is in the right style and choose Modify, Format. Your paragraph in here is where I have spacing before and after. As one, I'm going to choose now two spaces before and after. And you can see, and then OK. Add to the Styles Gallery, automatically update new documents based on the template, and OK. So now I want to make sure that I have the right style, which is the Kindle, and it's going to tell me I need to, to reapply, and then OK. Now I'm going to copy this information and convert it to my Kindle Create ebook.
Control V is paste. And you can see there is more space between your paragraphs. However, when you highlight your whole page and go into your formatting, you can see You can add space between your paragraphs as much as you would like or as less as you would like. Okay, so now the last thing is to create a table of contents with one click. So I want to insert a blank page and go to my references to the table of contents. And here I can use an automatic table of contents. Now, what you will notice is that the table of contents will take your heading one, heading two, and heading three. So it will be chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and chapter four. So this is the table of contents that you will use for your Kindle Create eBook. So you will need to have this unless you choose to add a subtitle to your title. So instead of it being chapter one, you won't have a subtitle, you'll just have as an example, this is the beginning. This is what your table of contents will look like in your Kindle Create eBook. Going back to Word, you would basically just need your title, as in heading one. You can do a custom table of contents for your ebook. This is your, your table of contents options. You can add and remove headings. Choose OK. Uncheck the show page numbers unless you are using your manuscript for a paperback and check to use hyperlinks instead of page numbers for your ebook. When you are done, you just click OK. And this will replace the table of contents. And now, where do you find your table of contents in your styles menu? Under TOC heading. To recap, you have your built-in table of contents, which is a one-click table of contents. And you also have your styles table of contents, which is the one that you created for your Kindle ebook. So I'm ending this video here because it is too long. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the next video that I'm creating. Thanks again for being a loyal subscriber and looking forward to hanging out with you in the next video.